My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today are things you should never say to gym members and guests. Now, number one on our list, and boy, this, this should be across the board for everybody, don't use the phrase, I don't know. It just makes you look bad. You know, Mr. Smith, that's a great question. Let me find out for you. Okay, much better way to look at that. But don't use that phrase, I don't know. Number two, I can't do that. You know, that's not what your customers want to hear. That's not what your members want to hear. That's not what your cust or that's not what your guests are going to want to hear. You know, uh, you know, uh, change how you say this. Instead of saying I can't do that, Mary, I understand that's important to you. Let's see what we can do, and then move that thing forward. Uh, number three, uh, boy, if I've heard this one once, I think I've heard it a million times that you'd, you'd never want to say, you know, oh, that's our, that's our company policy. That's our company policy. You know, let's look for different ways to position this. You know, Mr. Smith, I understand that's inconvenient. Let me see what we can do for you. Okay. And and I've seen this many times when it comes to how we handle uh, client cancels and things of this nature. And just by changing how we address these things, this can be a great, retur a great retention tool, you know, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. And number four, you know, we're on the phone with somebody and we say to them, do you mind holding? Well, I don't think anybody wants to hold. You know, this should be more of a command. Hold on, please. Okay. You know, tell them, don't, you know, do you mind holding because that's not what they're going to want to do. And then lastly on our list today, you know, that's impossible. You know, that's impossible. You know, again, this is not what your customer wants to hear. And some of the things that I would suggest that you do if you find yourself or members of your team are using phrases like this, is go back and review, you know, some of your sales training. Uh, go back and review some of the sales strategy. You know, one of the key components of sales is be agreeable. Okay, and a lot of times in these situations, one of the first things you can do is be agreeable. Hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, my name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.